This is the 25th Ward of Chicago. It includes the area from Ashland Avenue on the east to Sacramento Boulevard on the west and from the Eisenhower Expressway on the north to the Chicago River on the south. About four square miles with 55,000 people and a lot of urban industry. The 25th Ward is the home of Alderman Vito Marzullo. He's lived in this neighborhood for 68 years since he came from Italy. He has served in the city council as alderman for the past 25 years. He's also the head of the 25th Ward regular democratic organization as Ward Commitment. Vito Marzullo has been important and colorful Chicago politician for decades. The program was taped when alderman Vito Marzullo was 80 years old. And I am John Damagala, and I've been alderman Marzullo's personal secretary for the last 18 years with pleasure. And this is the look at the man and his world. Well, how do I check up? I check up because I'm on the job. I know what's going on. And I've been on the job for 58 years. I've been a precinct captain myself. I've been ward superintendent for 22 and a half years. I've been member of the legislature 14 years. I am the dean of the city council. Do I look like a, a natural dumb? <laughs> that's, that's right. I think Marzullo is one of the last, without question, one of the last of the old-time machine politicians in Chicago. Uh, he grew up in this organization. He spent his whole life in it. He spent his whole life in the neighborhood in which he now lives. He never thought of leaving the neighborhood. He's essentially a politician. Since I came from Italy, this is the neighborhood I lived 68 years ago between Allstate Street and the west side here. The things have changed because this used to be uh, well, Jewish, Irish, and, uh, and uh, a few Italians. Because mm. in the south end, you always had Polish people there. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. But now, because we have the Mexicans and the Puerto Ricans, you know, we have a few of the... Uh, yeah, we got some black and not. Yeah. But uh, we, we, thank goodness, we haven't had too many problems. I said last night was a little... Say, I remember years and years ago when they were having a lot of Italian yeah. on the west side. They were shooting it out from time to time. There were no angels. Yes, that's right. Uh, Your Italians were. I was a little disappointed when I came so here. Right. You've been married for how long? It'll be 56 years a week from tomorrow. 56 years, and I've been listening to this politics for 56 years, mind you. How you doing, Alderman? All right. All right, listen, uh, Nebo, I guess uh, he's in charge of what, curbs and gutters and so forth? Yeah. Well, I saw him about a week ago, and we have this problem over with a vault sidewalk, 2231 West 21st place, which is about, the hole's about... I gave it to him. You gentlemen got to learn one thing. If you're sick and you go to the doctor, you'll tell me aches and pains. Don't tell a doctor how to cure it. Our neighbor belonged to this organization. Stretch every point under the sun. Now, I gave him the sin. I told him to do everything possible. Now, what he didn't do means he can't. You know, these fellas holding a job. They're not going to jeopardize their own job either. I realize that. No, yeah. the thing is, we went out there and looked at the hole in the yeah. sidewalk. Yeah. And it's, the hole is only about yay big. Yeah. And supposedly his people came over to fill it up, Alderman. Yeah. Right, but we didn't put no, they didn't put no support underneath it at all of any kind. They're just going to dump the concrete into the hole. What do you mean, no support in there? That's what the people are telling me over there. They should put something underneath there to hold the sidewalk, or rather the, the concrete, so it doesn't just fall. It all depends what could they put underneath. If it's underneath is a vacant, that the, when they put a stuff, but there's no retaining wall to hold that stuff up, they, they, can't, put, they can't put anything underneath. I realize. Uh, well, there's, there's a guy here. He turns heaven and hurt when he can do anything. That's exactly what I told him. When Mayor Daly, two years in a row, offered him an opportunity to run for other offices, Daly wanted to put him on the county board one year, and Daly offered him a chance to run for clerk of the probate court one year. Marzullo turned both of those things down. And when Daly asked him why, Marzullo said, I just want to stay where I am as an alderman and a committeeman where I can help my friends and screw my enemies. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's a real Chicago machine politician.